the final race on day one with a superlative stakes is a seven furlong event for two year olds Brucey Bonus at the top for Martin Needham, Tigerfish, Daniel French, Zagalini's Junior, Dan Hughes, Aikenberry, Alex Cherry, Clowns Court, Leo Van Rensburg, Notebook, Joshua Sutherland, and there she goes, Derek Hinton. Obviously, up to both sexes in the SO world this one. Uh, they're installed and ready to go. And away they go. And we had the level break again. The grey Zagalini's Jr. just got its head in front at the moment. The other grey, though, the Derek Hinton horse. There she goes. Has come through as well now. So the two greys are disputing the lead. And then there's a two length gap then to Tiger Fish, who's just third ahead of Aikenberry on the rail. Then after that one, Brucey Bonus, Notebook, and Clowns Court. The back two as they pass the five pole with the greys to the four. Zagalini's Jr. two lengths clear. Well, there she goes, who in turn is two lengths clear of the rest of them, who are headed by Brucey Bonus, Aikenberry, Tiger Fish, and also Clowns Court in a line with Notebook, just a back marker, but it's Zagalini's Jr. who's now three to four clear of, there she goes in second, Clowns Court is now a clear third with three furlongs to go, then comes Tiger Fish, Brucey Bonus on the inside, now being switched to the outside, Notebook, the one who looks to be the four horse, is absolutely flying at the moment, Aikenberry's been dropped off the back, but they're racing down to the two now, and Zagalini's Jr. is in the lead from Clowns Court in second, Notebook closest to us, is in third, then comes Brucey Bonus, there she goes, and Tiger Fish, they're coming down Towards the furlong pole now, and Zagalini's Jr. is holding on in the lead, but Notebook and Clowns Court are closing on the outside. Tiger Fish is cruising as well, but Notebook into the front. It's Notebook in the lead now. Notebook starts to pull away. Tiger Fish moves into second and begins to close on the leader. It's close on the line, but I think Ooh, I've seen it before many times and got it wrong. As they flash past the post, in my mind, Joshua Sutherland's horse is still just in the lead, but I've been caught out in the last few weeks. Well, the angle, I think he's probably just held on. Indeed it has, so notebook called Joshua Sullivan. So Josh started the day with a winner, and he ends the day with a winner as well. Tigerfish second for Daniel French. Clowns Court for Leon Van Rensburg was second. There she goes, for Derek Hinton was... That oh, wasn't second, was it? It was third. Let's start all that again. Not... <laughs> Oh, OK. Notebook the winner for Joshua Sutherland. Tigerfish second for Daniel French. Clowns Court was third for Leon Van Rensburg. Now they've all disappeared. There she goes. Derek Hinton was fourth. And Zagalini Jr. for Dan Hughes was fifth. That's day one in the book. We'll be back tomorrow with day two. I'll be showing the comms with Jim on the flat tomorrow. I'll see you then.